This is the 722 sound mixer and recorder, uh, naked obviously, I've taken its bag away so it's feeling very exposed. Um, very basic controls, we have a, a play button here, um, some sort of next and previous buttons, a menu button up there, and we've got an HDD button there, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, and then we've got sort of input selects, stop and pause button, a record button here, and a power button up there, uh, which I've just accidentally pushed. So we have some action uh, on the 722 sound recorder. We've got some things moving around, some lights going on, uh, and we'll now go in and explain what they all do. On the screen on the 722, we've got a, a bit of information. We've got our, our basic sort of time code situation in the middle there, which is all those wonderful zeros. Uh, up the top we've got a track number and then on the over on the right hand side you've got your settings. Now we want to make sure that's in 48k which it looks like it is uh, and we should be right to go. On this side we've got some input dials here. Now to activate our inputs we just basically have to to push one of those and and move our input volumes up and down and that's basically how that works. We can lock that off by putting them in there. Um, and yeah. So in order to get going on a track, just hit record. Magical red light will go on and your time code will start sort of ticking over there. In order to stop recording, pretty self-explanatory, just hit the, hit the stop button. Simple as that. Menu navigation on the 722 is, is pretty straightforward. Just hit menu and the menu will come up. Now over on the left hand side here you've got an up arrow and a down arrow and then on the right hand side you've got a tick and a cross. Now the buttons that line up with, with those are what you push to sort of get those effects. So if we sort of go up by hitting menu will then go up in the menu. So we'll just go down just to go up the top. So the easiest thing to do as soon as you turn it on go to quick setup and hit OK and then just navigate until you get to load factory settings which should be the first one selected and then just hit OK. Now that'll just reset the whole thing Okay, and make sure that you're in a good spot. And just hit the cross, hit the cross, and then you're back to the start. And then if you hit record, you'll sort of go back to, to one. So this is the left-hand side of the Zoom recorder. As you can see, we've got an input plugged in here, and we've made sure that our, our thing here, our input, is put onto mic. On the side of the 722 where your, where your inputs are, um, you've also got a, a headphone jack up here and a headphone level set dial. Okay, So with sound, always trust uh, your inputs around the front. Um, but if, if it's a little bit loud, you can always adjust your monitoring level um, around here. We are getting a, a reading on the front of the 722 through the, uh, the first line up the top there we can see those magical green lights which means that we're in a happy place. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to set our levels uh, simply by adjusting this round dial here. So if I turn that all the way down we'll see even though I'm still talking in a reasonably normal volume the, the levels go down and then if I turn that up uh, all the way up we'll see that we're starting to peak uh, and we're getting all sorts of red Warning sign, warning, 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 your ears are blowing out if you've got headphones in. So what we want to do, we want to get our, our talent, we want to mic up our talent as they'll be mic'd up during the interview, um, or, or get our handheld mic in front of our, our Vox Poppy's mouth uh, and just get them to run off, you know. You can even do it while you're talking to them, while you're sort of setting up and they're talking to you. You can just keep an eye on it and just adjust your levels accordingly. Now what you want you want it to sort of, you know, in the loudest parts of their sentences. So when they go, ha, 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 or something like that, like they might just sort of go, look, no, that's wrong. No, 
that's I think that's fine to have it peaking when they sort of go really high you know obviously you want that to be high so look around there I think in a general conversational tone I think there's fine because your louds are going to be loud but your uh, your sort of general conversation pieces will be going into the recorder at a pretty solid rate on the opposite side of the 722 from the inputs input ports uh, and the headphone jack uh, the only thing you'll really need to worry about over here is this little baby right here this is your firewire port now in the bag you've got a cable uh, which looks a little bit like that and on the end looks a little bit like that now that'll just go straight in there um, you might need, depending on, on what computer you're operating, you might need to buy uh, a cable, an adapter cable or a different firewire cable that goes from, from this kind of, of cable uh, to the, the kind of firewire port that will just go straight into your, into your computer. Yeah.